All formulas in Excel start with an equal sign. We're going to add this column together. We select on the cell we want to add, add a plus sign, select on the next cell, add a plus sign, add a plus sign, and add, select the cell and just keep going. Obviously, this is a very inefficient way to work out the total value of a certain amount of data, and it doesn't allow for easy modification of our cells or formulas. So let's delete this and work with some of the inbuilt formulas in Excel. Fortunately, Excel has a number of inbuilt formulas for us to use that enable us to work with large amounts of data very quickly. So to add up this column, we're going to use the sum formula. So again, start with equals, type in the word sum, and this list appears. We can now select the size of the column that we want to add together, and you can see this array appears. We're going to add up the sum of the total of these, this column from A2 to A9, the colon being the um, indicator of a range. So we can change the size of our array by changing the letters in the array, or the numbers indeed. So if we change this A to a B, you can now see that Excel will add up all the values of any number in that array of cells from A2 to B9 and place it in the cell that we're currently typing in, the total. And again, if we increase it to C, and so on. Once you're satisfied with the array that you've created, whether it's accurate, you can always change it later. Uh, you can just hit enter and Excel will give you the total that you're looking for. And then of course you can edit any of the numbers in this column and Excel will modify your formula. Once you've got this in place, of course what we can use is the auto fill function which enables us to actually now create to totals for different columns and as you can see, Excel's smart enough to realize that it realizes we're adding up the values of individual columns, and so it modifies the formula to make sure that it is um, only adding up the columns and not overlapping columns for you, as you can see here. So we've gone across column B and C, and it is modified the formula accordingly. So we can now add data into any of the columns. So we can change this data here, as you can see. So we modify the values and we can see that the total value at the bottom is going to be modified instantaneously. A great feature in Excel. But now we can start adding different data in column B. So we'll start with a minus number here. And we can now add another figure. And as you can see, Excel instantly is totaling up at the bottom of this column through the autofill function um, what it's going to calculate. So it saves you heaps of time. For many people, the sum function and the ability to use autofill was pretty much all they'll need to use Excel for. But as I said, there's hundreds of formula you can use. And another one I'm going to show you is average. So start with an equal sign, type average, open a bracket, highlight the range of numbers that you wish to make the average for, close the brackets and press enter, and you have the average of any given range of numbers that you want. Next, I'm going to show you the how to calculate the maximum um, and the minimum in a range of numbers. So here we've got the average. So I'm going to get max here, and then I'm going to write min for minimum. And again, it's just simply a case of typing in equals. And what we're going to do is we're going to work out what the maximum number in this range is, or the highest number. So type in max, and then open brackets again and we're going to highlight the range and you see how we work these formulas out now and so you can see that it's picked out the maximum number is 62.6 and again do it for minimum again just write the word min there we go the same range and there we go and of course again obviously this is easy to see in a short range of numbers but in a large large list this kind of facility is excellent